I saw the old Turbo 8 or the Turbo Saga of the old TypeScript thing. And I have just one question for you before we dive into the specifics of Turbo, right? Like, can you really build quality JavaScript software without TypeScript? Because the TypeScript world will help us believe that there's no way you can make maintainable JavaScript and yada, yada, yada without TypeScript. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I, I yeah. So can you really build quality JavaScript software without TypeScript? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a very uh, hot topic, right? Uh, I, my answer is yes. I mean, you can. Uh, I think you can. Uh, listen, the, the question, like if you generalize the question is that can you build maintainable um, software with um, um, dynamically typed language like mm-hmm. JavaScript without types? Yeah. And the answer is yes. And it's not this is like not a subjective opinion in the sense that, you know, we are using Rails at 37 signals. Uh, for example, um, Basecamp is built in Ruby. The server is built in Ruby. Ruby doesn't have types. I mean, you don't use explicit types uh, when you are writing Ruby. Recently, they added like some support for types so that e- editors can show code completion and things like that. But the, the, you, you don't manage. It's like JavaScript, okay? When you declare a variable or a uh, function argument you don't need to declare the the type mm-hmm. and 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 you know that's um and the software we build is maintainable in the sense that we evolve it and it, they sustain like multi-million dollar uh bis- a multi-million dollar business okay so it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's of totally course sustainable so uh, javascript is the same and i think like the using typescript or javascript uh debate it's highly. It's one of those things that we developers like to uh, discuss about things that are uh, highly subjective, and try to uh, and try to make that objective. Okay, so it's like, uh, what's your taste? What's your what, what? What do you like? Do you like types or you don't like types? And it's, from there, you can rationalize however you want. Like I've seen even scientific articles trying to determine whether types. <laughs> Helps uh, help you to capture bugs or not, or uh, I don't know. I know that a lot of people love TypeScript. I know that a lot of people don't love TypeScript. He, at 37 Signals, we don't love TypeScript right now. Like actually, we removed TypeScript because we wanted when we were working in the calendar, we wanted to start upstreaming all the morphine stuff, and none of none of us uh, like TypeScript. Okay, so it was like, okay, why are we working with something we don't like? So uh, we decided to mix it. But um, I mean, for me, it's easier to convince me that, listen, I love TypeScript and it makes me more productive. I get that. I believe you. But if you if you come with a general argument of the kind, oh, this is better for everyone because software is more maintainable, like I, I don't agree with that. Like my experience, like, and I have quite a bit of experience in the field is like doesn't uh, back that up. Yeah. <laughs> 